time for another video. Hey, it's time for another video. Go Brandy, go Brandy, go Brandy, go Brandy. <laughs> Y'all like that. <laughs> hey everybody, I am back with another watercolor wig. This one is from the Kiss Hair on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put the information in the description box down below. It is 12 inches. It is a standard cap size. Um, yeah, pretty cut and dry here. It is a uh, transparent lace. I have not worked with this before, so this should be interesting. I'm going to start off with dark roots. Right now I'm mixing in the dark brown and the mocha colors for the roots. So just to kind of give you guys a backstory of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to do a red, orangish color. Yeah. So this was just all concept. In my head, I thought this was going to work. So this is me just testing out the color. If you want to see what it's going to look like, use a test strip. Because it is not going to make you happy if you do the whole wig one color. And you realize, oh snap, this wasn't even what I was going for. So I went ahead and did my little test strip. It was what I needed it to be. I want my roots to be a darker color so that it would blend a little bit easier with my hair. Because I do have dark hair. So I'm just kind of taking, like I'm doing like a little ponytail around the hair and then dunking where the roots are. Just up and down here. I didn't want to do it too, too much, but I didn't want to not do it enough and the roots come out too, like, chocolate brown. I wasn't looking for that because my hair is like a number two. So that's what we were going for here. So this water is like hot, hot. So I'm still trying to test out, like, what makes the color look better if you do it super super hot or not but yeah so far so good the boiling water seemed to be working i use a kettle to warm it up nothing special i dunked this for probably around five minutes once i took it out this is what it looked like it was a perfect brown for me now i'm gonna go in with this honey brown and this is cinnamon Cinnamon is really red, so I did get copper brown to like spice it up a little bit. Like the copper brings that orange color into it. So this mix of colors took me the longest because I really wasn't sure what I needed to look like. Like if y'all would have saw me pick these colors out in the hair store, this woman thought I was crazy because she was like, she keeps staring at it. I don't know if y'all ever seen Santa Clarita diet and uh what's her name the girl in the store would be like my manager noticed you were staring at this for so long do you need help that's what i felt like if you haven't watched it go watch it anywho this is me just doing the colors i knew i needed a lot more color with this so i was just putting a lot and i i don't regret it but i wish i had a little bit more orange color in it I mean, okay, again, it didn't come out bad, but I wish I had a little bit more orange in that. But I'm just here trying to make my little concoction, make it dark enough so that it gets through all the hair. So once I got the colors how I wanted them, I started to just dunk the hair. So I'm just putting it all in there. I am putting this a little bit into where that brown is because I want the colors to gradually change from the brown, the dark brown roots to the red color towards the bottom. I'm also combing it out to make sure that the hair color gets on all of the hair and not just on the outside of the hair. Because it is so short and that water is so hot, I can't put my hand into the water. So if you see like the first few dunks, I think I dunked it for like two minutes. You can see where the the hair color like isn't getting colored. The hair color isn't getting colored. Y'all knew what I meant. Anywho, 
the hair soaked up a lot of that color and it got like light but it really didn't do anything so this is when I started to add more color to the water and then I started to add a little bit more of that cinnamon copper color well the cinnamon and copper color those are two different colors but I just wanted again to get that a little bit brighter than what it was So now I'm going to dunk the hair again. And again, I'm still using my comb. I want to make sure that I'm getting all of the hair color in all of the strands. So while it's in the water, I'm combing it out, trying to make sure every strand gets it because there's nothing worse than having a blonde strand of hair in between all the red in the brown. It's just not cute. So after I took the wig out of the water, I realized it was just way more red than what I wanted to. It almost looks burgundy from right here. Um, so I decided to make one more batch of water to go over this color. So I'm using cinnamon and copper brown that we used in that red mixture. And then I got Cajun Spice, which I'll show you all three bottles in a little bit. But these colors give it a little bit more orangey look so the copper brown helps with that penny look and then cajun spice is orange i want to show you this bottle right now so that is orange so in retrospect i wish i would have added a little bit more of the cajun spice to make it a little bit more orange and add a little bit more copper brown to give it that penny type of look um i mean i still liked how it came out don't get me wrong but if you want it to be a little bit more orange, I definitely recommend using more of those two colors. So still doing the same thing I was doing before, dunking it in there, making sure I get all over the areas that I want to. I'm pulling that up as much as I can. I don't want to go all the way in the roots with this color, but I'm making sure that it's all over the hair. And after I finished dunking it however long I wanted to, this is what it came out to look like. Right here, this is under like bright lights, but this is what it looked like in the sun. Honestly, you really can't tell what color it is when it's wet, but I did like the way it came out. It was really pretty. So what's well, something I noticed when I put the wig back on the mannequin head, you can see the pieces of string coming out. They were very loose. Um, I'll talk about this in more detail at the end of the video, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the beginning, like when I first noticed it. So after I dried the hair, I realized, girl, the roots are dark. <laughs> I did try to... Uh, bleach the knots after this I don't recommend doing that it really didn't help anything but this is what we're looking like so I decided to stain not stain but tint the lace I have this um, lace tint spray that I use and I use that in order to help me out with the tweezing 
after doing all the tweezing this is what it looks like and honey I think this is one of my best tweezing jobs in a very long time it looks very good and I put some powder foundation underneath it to help blend it a little bit better so I am putting this on with my got to be spray it's been a while since I used this honestly um, but yeah here we are um, I'm doing this a little bit at a time because I didn't want this to stay on as long as possible I wanted to see how it felt on my hair again this is my first time working with transparent lace you will see as I'm putting this on that the lace is not transparent, but whatever. I did use powder again on the hair. I didn't use foundation because I didn't know how it would react on this kind of lace. But the powder worked just fine. And this is before makeup as well too. So before makeup, it does look a little bit more noticeable. Um, Yeah. So the second layer of spray, I'm going to put this on my hair for about 10 minutes maybe. I think it was like 10, 20 minutes I put this on. Once I felt it was dry enough, then I took it off. And this helped to like melt it down where I could like actually do something with it without it moving. I did have some issues while styling my hair with the little pieces of string every so often. Like it was a lot. Um, there were flyaways. I did use some mousse to tear that down. And then I also used a hot comb to flatten that out a bit I think it looks really really good the density is 150 and at first I thought maybe it was a little too I don't know not not dense enough let me say that but it worked out great because the wig laid down super flat without much work like it didn't even take all of that for the the hot comb for me to even lay it down and I got some mousse and wabam it's pretty cute So after I got the wig laying down right I went ahead and put my makeup on and this helped to camouflage the lace so it looked a lot more believable I did trim that little section right there because it was a little straggly it was a little weird but after that I really didn't touch it at all I really didn't cut anything else because the wig is cut in a bob style I didn't have to do a lot of customizing once it was on my head so the coloring honestly is what took the longest if I didn't color it not a lot of work would have had to be done so to do a wrap-up of how I feel about everything this is hundred and fifty percent density I am used to having wigs that are like I'm not gonna say 
more dense but this one just maybe because it's short the density towards the front like where the actual lace part is is a little bit thinner so you can actually see it on the bob so i i didn't cut anything this is how it comes it comes in that bob um cut already where i don't have to but like for example this bob cut here you see that it, it has enough density but right here when it gets to the front is when it gets a lot thinner and I was thinking maybe it was because I was customizing the lace, but I really don't think that's the issue because it was doing that before when it was still blonde. I didn't show that part because I thought maybe it was just me. Yeah, I really don't have that problem on this side, but of course it is a side part, so it's really blending in with the back. Other than that, I really don't have any issues. It was shedding. When I was doing the watercolor, it was shedding. I hadn't even customized the wig yet. And I got scared because I was like, is all the hair falling out because of me? Like, did I do something? I did attempt to try to bleach the knots after I colored it. So I thought maybe I messed the wig up. But after I conditioned it, after um, the color, I conditioned it, it was fine. So it was good there. Also, something else that I was noticing as uh, I finished coloring it. So... I'm not sure if you can see it when I turned around. So when here, from where the the lace is, okay, so let's say this right here is the lace part and then this part up here is gonna be where the tracks start. Because the tracks and everything are the, um, because the tracks are the 613 color, you're gonna see them bleed through. I honestly don't mind and I get that but the most discouraging part was some of the wefting, the actual string that holds the wefts in place were loose. Where if I comb my hair in certain places, it snags on to the thread, which is very discouraging. And it was like that when I got it out of the box. Where I was afraid to cut it because I thought I would unravel the wig. So I had just kind of left it how it was. If it becomes a problem, I may like try to sew it through the back of the wig and like sew it down in a way but so far it's not an issue it it is weird though i haven't had a, a new wig do that unless i manipulated it in some type of way and i didn't so that's something to look out for um other than that i really love how the hair came out i think it's really pretty it's a lot more red than the orange color i was going for but it is very pretty and I think it's a beautiful color for fall. I will leave all of the information to this Nikiss Bob wig down in the description box down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section as well. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.